Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another live war for you here in the CWL Esports 5v5 League. It's going to be not quite tribe versus Wiener Pencils. Let's go ahead and see who's going to take the victory today. Remember guys, if you want to see some of these wars live, make sure to check out my Twitch and my Trovo channel. Links are in the description. Season 2 of the CWL Esports $1,500 prize pool. And we're in. Just like that. We're in with the first attack of the war. Unique team for Not Quite Tribe is in. On base number two here of Wiener Pencils. Man, that is such a good name. Starting off with the Warden Walk. He's got that new Gladiator Warden skin. Look how OP that skin is. Warden coming in here, starting over at 8 o'clock. Coming in with a Yeti Smash, it looks like, with two jumps, a Rage, two Freezes. And currently has a Siege Barracks activated. We'll see where he uses that. Looks like he's probably going to try to smash in from the 7 o'clock angle here. Uh, he's going to have to make a funnel over at the 6 o'clock side. Will he use his King or the Siege Barracks for that? We shall see. We shall see. There goes a Baby Dragon with a Balloon in front to tank for it. To try and make a little bit of a funnel. Here comes the King. He does not have any wall breakers, so he's just going to jump straight into the town hall compartment. And there goes the jump, just as I say it. Baby Dragon making its way in. Hopefully can get that cannon before the air defense kills it. Let's see. Baby Dragon gets, needs to get one more shot off. Yes, he does get the cannon perfectly. Now he's sending all the yetis and the bowlers straight in. King's going to get locked onto by that single target in front of super early. He's going to die, unfortunately. Headhunters in the CC might damage the queen here, but the bowlers and yetis are actually going to take them out right away. So those headhunters don't really get much value here. Queen is getting stuck on these skelly traps, and the warden is uh, moving up now. Had to pop his ability early because these yetis and bowlers are not being healed by the healers. The healers are stuck on the warden because of that ground expo. That's unfortunate. All the bowlers get absolutely wrecked because they're not being healed up. He's dropping his last Rage Spell, trying to keep everything alive. Uh, Siege Barracks was used over at 9 o'clock. Hogs coming out. Roma Champ in to help support them now. But he's not getting the push that he wanted right here. The healers never left the Warden from the beginning of the attack. They never switched the Yetis, and that was the main problem here. You really need that healer switch if you want a chance on a Yeti Smash. The healers on the Yetis get so much value, but Roa Champ's going to make her way up. The Warden's actually going to switch over to the Roa Champ and help her out. Still has her ability, so she should be able to get a few more defenses here to give him some percentage points. So hopefully it's not too low of a percentage attack here. There goes her ability. Gets the cannon. Now she steps up for the scatter shot. The healers switch off the Warden and onto the Roa Champ, so that's actually looking pretty good. Roa Champ's going to get that Wizard Tower. The Archer Tower up top is tanked by those loons. Now the Road Champ moving over, getting a cannon, then she's going to step up for the Expo, and it looks like she's going to die to the enemy Road Champ. Yes, she does. And it's just going to be up to the Warden and these two loons to try and get as much percent as they can, but the Warden also going to die from the Road Champ, and he's not going to get much more percent than that. A couple Wizards around the map cleaning up some trash, but it looks like it's going to be roughly 79% here. Only six seconds left on the clock. Don't think it's time to get anything else unless he can get a shot off on this Builder Hut. Come on, Wizard. He gets it 80% to start off the war here for not quite tribe. We'll see what Wiener Pencils do with their first attack. Here we go. Wiener Pencils in with their first attack of the war. Coming in on Edgar's base. Using an early road champ here. It looks like it's going to be a drag bet. Road champ stepping up, getting the cannon here. He's using an ice golem, king and queen over at the 5 o'clock angle. Balloon to get that. Mortar down to funnel them into, it looks like, toward this Inferno Tower, but he doesn't have any wall breakers, so won't actually be able to reach it. Gonna have to pop the King ability here to make a funnel before he gets uh, killed by that single target Inferno. Nicely done. King is gonna walk around the outside here. Queen not gonna step up for that air defense. She walks down south instead, starting with all the dragons at 3 o'clock using the funnel that the Royal Champ made. King going to walk his uh, way around here, kill the enemy king, pull the CC as well. A bunch of archers and some headhunters come out of the CC. He doesn't have a poison spell to deal with it. So you're just going to have to deal with it old school, but the queen is going to go down to that uh, to those headhunters. And watch out now, those headhunters are going straight for the warden. Can the dragons kill them in time? He might have to pop the warden ability. He does pop the warden ability, so warden's not going to take any damage, luckily. 
That Sweeper is doing a lot of work. Pushed his dragons way south of the Inferno Tower. Now they're going to move back up toward the Eagle and toward the Town Hall. Two groups of dragons here. They kind of split off. Bats coming in from the bottom side. That first freeze might have been a little bit too early. Let's see. He's going to have to burn another freeze on that Wizard Tower because of that. In fact, he's going to have to burn all three freezes on that Wizard Tower. Now he doesn't have any for the Scattershot. The other group of bats get hit by the Tornado, and the Scattershot switches to the bats. That's not good for Wiener Pencils here. Oh, that Scattershot just took out all his bats. Does he have enough dragons to power through this base? I'm afraid the dragons might path around the single target Inferno here. If they do, it's going to be a defense. Let's see which path they take after they get this Elixir Collector. Oh, they might go in for the uh, Inferno Tower, but still, it might be a defense anyway. The Scattershot, the Inferno, the Expo are going to do work on these dragons here, and they are dropping fast now. Only three left, and they're losing health quite quickly. That Scattershot, the Red Air Bombs, those two dragons are pretty low on health now. They're going to get through the Scattershot. But the Archer Towers and Tessas on the top end should stop the attack. Warden is going to be a hero and tank that Archer Tower for as long as he can. But it's not going to make a difference here. It's going to be a defense for Not Quite Tribe. But they are going to get better percent here on their first attack. So Wiener Pencils are going to have the slight lead after the first round of attacks. See how much percentage they can actually get before the attack ends. 20 seconds on the clock. These dragons both really low on HP. That Tesla should be able to kill them both once they get in range. 12 seconds. 10. Looks like it's going to be about a 90. Maybe he'll get 91 if he has enough time here. No, he doesn't. That army camp's going to stay up. It's going to be a 90%. Nice try to Wiener Pencils. Next attack is in from Not Quite Tribe. Edgar Honorface is in on number 4. Let's see what he's bringing in. Looks like another Yeti Smash here. Starting off with a Warden Walk and the oh, Queen and Warden over at 3 o'clock. Just going to let her pick which way to go. Looks like she is going to go down. He does have a Wall Breaker, actually. He's going to get her to go inside for this Eagle nice and early. And then she's going to either walk up or down. We'll see. That Archer Tower just barely stays alive. Hardly any HP on it. Tries to use a Coco Loon here, but he loses a healer to a Seeking Air Mine. Which way is the queen going to go next? There's another Seeking Air Mine there. And he's going to lose a healer to a Red Bomb. Oof, lots of traps on the right side of the base here. Queen making her way down. She is going to get in range of this single target Inferno, but don't worry. He's got Quakes. King and Siege Barracks being used on the bottom side. I think he's trying to Yeti Smash in for the Town Hall, but the, the funnel on the bottom side is way too late. Let's see if he can recover. He needs to pop the King ability to make the funnel here, to be honest. Everything's going to go outside if he doesn't. Oh no, come on Edgar, pop the King ability there, he pops it. Can he get the Yetis to path in for the Town Hall? There goes a the Rage, oh all the Yetis go outside. No, some of them come in with the bowlers. Okay, we got at least a few going in. Pop that Warden ability, come on. Pop that Warden, perfect. He gets the Warden ability down. Queen is locked onto by the Single Target Inferno. Gonna have to pop her ability as well, unless he freezes. There goes the Freeze, nicely timed. That was a really well timed Freeze. Hogs from the Siege Barracks come out on the bottom side. Roach hemp in behind to support. Yetis with the healers and the queen and the core here. We'll see how much value they can get. If queen can swing around, get this single target inferno and the scatter shot, I think he's got a chance to triple here. Queen's going to get stuck on that skelly. Now she's going to wrap her way around. And she's beating on a really weird wall. Queen! There she goes. She retargets. That was strange. Roa Champ is going to... Oh, Roa Champ already used her ability. So can the queen finish off the rest of the base with the help of these... Yetis and the Wizards and the Warden, I think they will. Plenty of time, 60 seconds on the clock. It looks like this is going to be a triple. It looks like this is going to be a triple, even though the funnel at 6 o'clock was late. He was able to pop that King ability, force everything back in, and we're going to have our first triple of the war. Edgar on her face. What a name against Wiener Pencils here. Coming in with the Yeti Smash and destroys this base. Queen still alive at full health. Pekka, Yetis, King still alive. Warden still alive. This one is crushed. 30 seconds left on the clock. That's going to be a triple and not quite tribe. Take the early lead here in this war. Wiener Pencils in with their next attack. Let's see if they can get a triple here and tie it up on stars after not quite tribe. Just got a triple of their own. Starting off with a Yeti over here at 730. Early wall breaker of some funnel troops over at 6. Looks like he is going to be doing a queen charge into this uh, scattershot compartment. I, or there is a headhunter in that CC. 
He decides not to drop the poison, gonna try to save it just so he goes for the rage instead. Might be a good idea, not sure what else is in that CC. Could still be a Lava Hound, that's my guess. No, it is more Headhunters and an a, I, or a Inferno Dragon here, so he will have to drop the poison and a freeze now in order to get all this down. Queen is going to step her way up here. Will he be able to wall break again, or is he going to see if Queen's just going to wrap around through the hole in the base here, or the hole in the walls that are right here? Let's see what he decides to do. He is getting some weird uh, spinny wheel connection errors. Don't know if Ice Dragon's having some Wi-Fi problems, but here we go. I think he's back in. Queen stepping up for this bomb tower. Now she's going to go down for the Tesla, trying to funnel that spell factory. Which way does she go now? She goes inside, just where he wants her to. So nicely done here with the queen charge so far. She's going to step up, get that Tesla, get the Builder Hut, get the Expo. Then she might go for the Town Hall next. Let's see. Is the funnel made? Ooh. Okay, she goes for the cannon, and I think she will go for the Town Hall. He should try another wall break right now if he can. He's not doing it, though. He's going to let the queen get the Town Hall, and he already started with the hybrid over on the left side of the base. King and Siege Barracks to funnel. Hybrid going inside. Queen does get that expo, the clan castle. She might beat on a wall next. It would have been nice if he tried to wall break. So now she's going to go back inside the core now because of that. And now she's going to end up getting stuck on a wall. Should be popping the warden ability soon here. He elected to go for the early heal. And now he needs to pop the warden. But warden goes the wrong way. And all these miners on the road champ get, got picked off. That's not good. He lost a lot of miners to that road champ. In fact, almost all the miners are dead because of that. Probably needed to use the Warden ability earlier while the Warden was still in range of all those miners. Road Champ doing a good job of getting some defense on the back end here. He still might be able to get this. He still might be able to get this. He has some hogs on the top side with the Warden. Cleanup Wizards. Queen still alive at full health. A minion on the bottom side. He does have a free spell that he can use to keep these hogs alive, which he should drop right now on the Wizard Tower, but he decides to wait. There he goes, finally dropping the freeze on the Wizard Tower. Those hogs might stay alive with the help of the Warden. I think they will. Queen beats through a nice wall here. She'll be able to reach a ton of buildings. Let's see. He needs to pop that Queen ability just for time. He does do so. Nicely done. Hogs are going to get through the defenses here, and it's all going to come down to time. Does he have time to clean up the base? 28 seconds on the clock. I think he does. All the Hogs die. Queen and Warden pick off that last defense, though. Warden's helping beat through the wall. This might actually be close. Let's see. Wizards get the storage on the top side. Goblin and Wizard on the right side get another one. And he's got 13 seconds for three buildings. I think he's going to get it. Yes, indeed he is. Nice triple from Wiener Pencils here to tie up the war. And again, the lead swings back into favor of Wiener Pencils as they're tied on stars and slightly up on percentage. 38 total destruction to 36. Nice triple to Wiener Pencils. Anyway, here we go with the next attack. Norse of Org is in. Let's see what he's bringing. Looks like, again, another Yeti Smash, but this time instead of Bowlers, he's got P.E.K.K.A.S. He's got P.E.K.K.A.S., so let's see what he's going to be doing. Warden walk over at 9 o'clock for the Town Hall. Warden will be able to get that uh, Elixir Storage, and then he's going to make his way in for the Town Hall. King Funnel on the top side. Let's see, that King should be able to get the Gold Storage and start making his way downtown toward the uh, rest of the uh, troops, which I presume he's going to drop over at 1030. He doesn't let the Warden get the Town Hall, so interesting stuff here. He's just going to uh, smash straight into this Town Hall compartment. King needs to pop his ability to make the rest of the funnel. Headhunters and a Hound come out of the CC. Let's see, it's going to take the Queen quite some time to kill that Hound. King pops his ability. Down go the Headhunters. Skelly Trap pops. Popping the Warden ability relatively early there. The Eagle Artillery is not down yet. Oh, that Eagle Artillery is on 1 HP. He needs it to go down. Queen might be going the wrong way here. It's going to be an interesting uh, entry here to see if the healers swap. They do swap over to the Yetis, which is actually nice for him. Pekka's on the top side. Are they going to get stuck on a wall? They do get stuck on a wall because of that Tesla. The other Yetis and Pekka's are moving into the core here. A second jump to get him into the backside of the base here. Multi-targets, Infernos on the backside. King going to go down to the enemy queen. Unless that healer can keep him alive. No, they cannot. Queen are going to... Uh, the queens are going to fight. Friendly queen wins the battle, though. But all these healers are getting picked off by the multi-target Infernos. Queen going to get locked onto by the single there. He's going to pop her ability here in just a second, it looks like. All the healers are dead. Sie or, uh, Siege Barracks on the top side with the Hogs and the Road Champ coming in. See how much value they can get. No more spells. 
which means those hogs are going to die relatively quickly. The road champ not going to have anything to tank for her at this point. She's going to go down in a few seconds, or actually she's going to get this all the defenses on this 3 o'clock side. And then she'll go down over here on the 6 o'clock side. It's going to be a defense, though, for Wiener Pencils. OP bases. Norse of Org, unfortunately, not able to get this one. But a very nice attempt here from him. Let's see how much percent he'll be able to get currently at 74 and climbing. Road Champ pops her ability there. Now she's going to get targeted by that Warden. And, ooh, that Warden hits like an absolute truck. She's going to go down because of that Warden and the cannon hitting her. Two loons coming in. Not going to get a whole lot more value, but still really decent percent on this attack. He's going to get close to 90. He's going to get close to 90, but not going to be the triple they were looking for. Wizard going to be able to pick up the barracks over here, and he might have enough time to get the dark drill as well. I think he does. Not going to be able to get the storage, though, with only 7 seconds left on the clock. Pekka dies to a giant bomb. You don't see that every day. It's going to end at 90%, though. Very nice try to Norse of Org on this one. Advantage Wiener Pencils, though. If they can get another triple, they might just run away with this one. We'll see. We'll see. Wiener Pencils in with their next attack on Emery's base. Coming in with, yet again, another Yeti Smash. We're seeing a lot of Yeti Smash today from Not Quite Tribe and from Wiener Pencils. Let's see if Jan from Wiener Pencils can make this one work. Starting off with the Warden over at 11 o'clock. Some Archers at 9 to Funnel. A minion on the right side. How much time is he going to give that Warden to make the Funnel here? Might have to wait quite a while. Already down to 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Where is he going to try to smash in from? Maybe the Scattershot compartment? No, probably the Town Hall compartment. I don't know. We shall see. King going to walk his way up. Oh, I don't know if that's what he wanted. King's going to walk down and around, so he's not going to go inside with the kill squad. Warden making his way downtown. I think he is going to try to smash into the Scattershot compartment at 10 o'clock and then just save a blimp for the Town Hall. That would be my guess. Warden is going to work on that Wizard Tower and the Tesla there. I think after he takes down those two buildings, he's going to go ahead and start with the smash. Nope, he doesn't wait for those buildings to go down at all. He says, you know what, I'm getting really low on time. I need to get in here. Already down to a minute and 50 on the clock. King made a really nice funnel on the bottom side. And here go the Yetis and the Bowlers pathing in. That Town Hall not yet activated. Headhunters and a Hound again coming out of the CC. Popping the Warden ability there. Raging into the Eagle compartment. Oh, he manually popped the blimp for some reason. Oh, that's not good for Jan here from Wiener Pencils. He's going to have to save the Borough Champ for the Town Hall because of that. The blimp got manually popped. I don't know if that was... Yeah, it had to have been a mistake. I don't think they were seeking air mines over there. I'm not sure. But now he's going to have to send in the Borough Champ for the Town Hall here and invest a freeze just to make sure it goes down. All the healers died as well. This entry might have been uh, baited here. Looks like it was Freeze for the Town Hall and the Expo. Queen going to go help kill the Town Hall as well. Going to be able to get a few more percentage points here, but this one is looking like a nice defense for Emery from Not Quite Tribe on this one. It's going to be low percent as well. Wow, that blimp just got annihilated as soon as it was dropped over here. It went down right away. Queen going to take out the Road Champ and start working on the enemy king. Now she's going to beat on the wall. Still has her ability and some cleanup troops. So he'll be able to get some percentage points here, but not a whole lot. Nowhere near as much as they want either. I think it was two Seeking Air Mines that were right there where the blimp was. And unfortunately, that blimp was not inside the Warden ability. Queen going to beat through a second wall here. Get these platforms down to get some extra percentage points. But now she's going to be in range of that single target Inferno, I think. Let's see. Yes, she is. And she goes down 66%. 10 seconds, 9 seconds on the clock. Can these wizards pick up a few more buildings? No. The archer might get this one down in time. 2 seconds, 1 second. No. He's not going to get the 69 that we all wanted. He's going to end at 68%. Nice try here from Jan, but that entry was really baited. Nice defense from Emery. Nutella is in for Not Quite Tribe. Let's see if he can get a triple to take advantage of that nice defense they had in the last attack and take the lead here. Coming in with Yet again, another Yeti Smash, guys. Yeti Smash is super popular today. Warden going to get these Teslas out of the way nice and early. He finds a couple of Seeking Air Mines. All the balloons have been used, so he cannot trigger any more uh, Seeking Air Mines within loons. Warden finding all the Teslas here. 
Going to try to make a funnel on the south side air defense, and it looks like he's going to smash in at 8 o'clock on the town hall. That would be my guess. He's dropping the warden and minion on the right side. We're going to have to wait another 20 seconds or so for this warden to get all the value that he needs. Going to take some time here. Warden going to step up, get this cannon, eventually make his way toward that air defense perhaps. He's already using the king and the siege barracks on the left side of the base. He's not going to wait for that air defense to go down. That's going to hurt his healers. That air defense is going to take out so many healers when the warden paths over here to the left. Queen being dropped. Uh, there are three ice golems in the CC. He's going to freeze the scatter shot and the king there. Pop the warden ability to try and save some of these healers. Oh no, two of the healers go to the bowlers that went outside the base. That's not good. The other healer, only one healer left alive in the core, already popped the warden ability. That Giga in, uh, bomb's going to do a lot of damage here as everything paths into the core with that second jump. The other healers come back over. Okay, that's good at least. Everything moving into this eagle compartment. There goes the last rage. There goes the last freeze. He doesn't use the freeze to support the row champ, and because of that, she loses a lot of HP right away, and she's actually going to die. That's not good. you got to try and keep your row champ alive if you can. Queen's going to step up inside the single target Inferno range. She's going to take the jump spell, start working on that scatter shot, but that single target Inferno is going to stall him out. It's going to be a defense here. Again, the Yetis and the Bowlers getting killed early before he makes it through to the backside of the base. Not quite going to be enough here. He's at 69% and climbing. Here we go, getting closer to 71, 72. Not sure how much the Queen and Warden are going to be able to pick up. Queen is going to go back inside. Where's she going? She hops the wall. She's going to go for the Builder Hut and the Air Defense, and because of that, she's going to die to the single target Inferno that she cannot reach. Uses some sneaky goblins on the bottom side to try and get the storage down. Warden is tanking the cannon, which is nice for him, so those sneaky goblins can actually get some more percentage points over here. Or the super goblins. But now they are going to die to that archer tower, and the warden will be able to pick up a couple more buildings here before time runs out. He's at 20 seconds, 84%. Looks like he's going to end right around 86%. But not going to be a triple... So we're still tied on stars in this war, uh, or tied on triples. And so we'll see who's going to get the next triple and take the lead in the upcoming attacks. This one's going to run out at 87%. Very nice try to Nutella from Not Quite Tribe. Here we go. Next attack, Wiener Pencils are in on Nutella's base. Coming in with a Zap Lalo. Here we go. This one's not a Yeti Smash. We got a Zap Lalo. Let's see how Wiener Pencils fly through the air with their zap Lalo, see if they can get it done. He's gonna probably zap the road champ and the eagle if I had to guess. Where are the zaps? Oh, there they go. I think he missed some of it, no. Road champ barely on a sliver of health here. Let's see how he's gonna take her out. Starting off with a couple loons and a baby dragon on this bottom side here. Gonna get that mortar down. Are there gonna be Teslas over here? Let's see. Drops the king to walk down. And he does have a super wall breaker. It looks like he wants to wall break in and get this Inferno Tower. But he won't be able to reach any scatter shots if he does that. And he didn't get any sweepers with the zap either. So it's going to be an interesting flight here to see how he does it. He's not going to be able to get the Town Hall with the Sui either. King goes inside, but he's going to die to that single target Inferno relatively quickly. And the Ice Golem does not tank the Inferno Tower for the Queen. Which is going to cost him the Queen ability here as soon as she gets locked onto. Pop that queen ability. There you go. Queen ability has been popped. Now how is he going to do this flight? The town hall is still up. Both scatter shots are still up. Both sweepers are still up. Road champ still alive. He's going to use his road champ over here at 11 o'clock to try and make a funnel for the Lalo. But is he going to be able to kill the road champ? He doesn't have any headhunters. I think he's relying on uh, his pups to kill her. Last lava hound, or one of his lava hounds is flying all the way to the top side of the map. Ooh, he uses the Warden ability early as well, relying on that blimp and whatever's in it to kill the Town Hall, and the blimp hits a tornado trap. Uh-oh. Lava Hound on the right side, flying all the way to this air defense over here at two or at 4 o'clock. Let's see what's in the blimp. Hopefully he has some Sneaky Goblins. Does he? Yes, he does. Sneaky Goblins and a Dragon in the CC, so that Town Hall does go down. He's going to have to freeze the scatter shot, and he does haste into it as well. Now it's going to be up to these wizard towers to try and defend the base for Nutella. 
Can the Wizard Towers stop the Loons here, or will they be able to power through the rest of these defenses? Still has a minute and five on the clock. I think he has plenty of time. It's going to come down to whether or not the Wizard Towers can get it done. That Red Bomb destroys a ton of his Loons. And Wizard, the Wizard Tower is tanked by the Warden. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's honestly so lucky. You don't see that every day. The Wizard Tower tanks or is tanked by the Warden, so the Loons don't have to worry about that splash. But can they get through the air defense? Oh, they're dropping fast. Only one balloon left, and the Warden switches targets. It's going to be a defense. It's going to be a defense. All the Loons die, even though he had the OP Warden tanking for the Wizard Tower. It's still going to be a defense. Nice try here to average Wiener Assad from Wiener Pencils with the Zap Lalo, but this one just barely not going to work out for them. <clears throat> Going to be high percentage attack, though. That one got really close. Just two Archer Towers keeping him from getting the triple here. Man. Going to finish at, looks like, 89% here. Very nice try. We're in with the next attack. Emery is in on base number one. Let's see what they're doing here. Coming in with a Drag Bat. Funneling both sides of the town hall with some sneaky goblins. Ooh, he dropped those sneaky goblins too early. They get hit by the mortars. Let's see if they can get it done. I think they'll still get the storages, though. Nicely done there with the sneaky goblins. Starting off with an air warden, and then all the balloons and the dragons in behind. Not wasting any time. He says, I'll use the heroes later. Who needs a king and a queen and a road champ? Let's get these dragons going into the town hall. That early rage there, but the funnel's not made. Some of these dragons are splitting off. Headhunters come out of the CC. They're going to go try to snipe this warden. Let's see if they can. One goes down. The other one goes down. All right. They get one shot off on the warden, and that's it. Pops the warden ability there. Going to get the town hall down. Where are the king and queen going to go? He needs to get these scatter shots for the bats. King's going on the top side with the queen in behind. Still has a row of champ and bats, but he needs to get those scatter shots. I don't think the dragons are going to get the, the top side scatter. So he's going to have to freeze that scatter for all the bats. Warden's going to get hit by the, uh, oh, he decides to use a freeze on the single target Inferno to save the Warden. I don't think that was the right call. You have to save the bats. The Roa Chant pulls the CC as well. Out comes the Lava Hound. The scatter shot on the top side is going to hit all the bats. He uses the poison in the core. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's going to need to pop the Roa Champ ability soon. Try to get as many defenses as possible. Queen pops her ability. Finds the Tesla Farm on the right side of the base, but those scatter shots are just devastating for the bats. This one not going to be a triple. That Lava Hound going to stall it out. And he didn't bring any minions for the cleanup on the top side for percent. He should have had one minion at least. That's all right, though. It's going to be about a 74%. looks like it's going to end out here. Single Target Inferno going to lock onto the Warden. Take him out. Very nice try to Emery. He's going to end at 74% on this one, though. Here we are with the last attack of the war. Can Steph from Wiener Pencils come up clutch and get a triple here to save the war for them? I believe a high percentage attack will also uh, win the war. They need something like an 85 uh, based on uh, average destruction here. He's coming in with a Zap Lalo here to try and win the war. Let's see if he can make it work on Unique's base. He decides not to Zap the CC. Instead goes for the Queen. A scatter shot and some other buildings over here. It looks like a sweeper and an inferno tower, but doesn't get the CC with the zap. Interesting choice here. Let's see if he can make it work. Balloon pulling some archers out of the CC. King making a funnel on the right side here. He's going to try to wall break and get his queen in for the town hall, it looks like. Going to have to pop the king ability here because of these archers. Doesn't have a poison spell. So I'm wondering what his plan is here for the CC, not knowing what it is in advance. King is going to pull the rest of the CC because of that pathing. Oh my goodness. He's going to pull the entire CC, including some headhunters, goblins, and witches, and he doesn't have a poison. This is looking good for Not Quite Tribe. Queen might not even get the town hall because of those headhunters. Look at those headhunters. He has to freeze them. Queen is stuck on the enemy. King, oh, he's going to have to pop the queen ability right now. He's not going to get the town hall with the queen. That's unfortunate. Man, that's why you almost always want to zap the CC when you're doing a zap Lalo. This CC is just absolutely ruining his attack right now. Let's see if he can recover. Still two headhunters and a witch in the CC. No poison to kill them. He still has an earthquake that he never used. I wonder if that was supposed to be used earlier or not. 
dropping a minion on the right side. He's trying to activate this town hall so he can send a stone slammer to it, it looks like. He's going to send the stone slammer to it, start the Lalo on the top side. At this point, he's hoping and praying that he can get 85%, but I don't think he's going to be able to get the triple unless some miracle happens. Those headhunters are damaging the town hall here. He uses his Roa Champ on the top left side. That's going to pull all the skellies over. He needs to pop the Warden ability relatively early to save these loons from the Roa Champ in the core. The town hall does go down, but can he get 85%? Let's see. Quake the core there just to damage some of these defenses. Scattershot on the top side is going to go down. He needs to use his uh, spells sooner rather than later. His spotters need to tell him he's just shooting for 85%, so don't try to be a hero and get the triple. Just get as much percent as you can. Eagle Artillery been being hit by one loon there. It should go down, but the Eagle Artillery shots take out a lot of loons first. He's currently at 69% and climbing. Can he get the 85? Minions on the top side. This is going to be close. This is going to be a close finish. All of his troops are down, so he's just watching the screen now, hoping he can get 85. Let's see. Warden is going to go down to the Multi-Target Inferno at 79%. Oh boy, this is going to be really close. Multi-Target Inferno going to absolutely destroy these minions. And I think it's going to be a victory for Not Quite Tribe. Just barely on average destruction. 82. And it's going to end there. Oh my gosh, they needed 85. They needed 85 and they got 82. No, they got 83. Oh, wow. It's all over. It's all over. Let's see what the average destruction was on both sides. 11 to 11. 86.2 to 86. It's going to be a win for Not Quite Tribe by one building. By one building. They needed 84 for the tie. They got 83. Oh my gosh. That's a heartbreaker for Wiener Pencils. They're not going to be able to get it done. And Not Quite Tribe coming out with a victory in this war on percent. Alright guys, so there you have it. You got to see this war live. Not Quite Tribe coming out with the victory over Wiener Pencils by one building in the very end. It was super close. Amazing war. GG's to both teams. Thank you for letting me stream it. That's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.